What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're working on the STI because unfortunately I posted it for sale yesterday and I'm just getting everything buttoned up, making sure everything's going to be A1, obviously for this next buyer. STI transmission flush, honestly, isn't the hardest thing in the world. There's uh, two different drains, center diff and then main drain, if you want to call it that. But uh, you need a T70 and then I think just a 14 mil or maybe another T uh, socket. But this guy right here, pretty easy peasy. You need a couple crush washers as well. Head to Subaru, get those. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, drain this guy. He uses, uh, what is it, 7590, Tommy? Or 90, what's it? 7590. 7590. Typically I use Motul, but Tom and Dota Redline, so it is what it is. We're gonna test this thing out and get this thing drained. There is one of the drains right there, but that's a 14 mil. And it's got a crush washer behind it. And then this is like the main drain right there. This is the T70. So let's get it. All right, boys and girls, we blew it. I'm, I'm not, you know what? I thought originally I was gonna trust this. I think some people have ran Redline, but I gotta go for the trusty steed. Um, appreciate Tommy trying to donate that, but I'm gonna go Motul 300, 7590. I'm gonna get it on order. So now I need to wait a couple days because Amazon has it for like $74 and I just called uh, just like an auto parts store and uh, theirs is 140. So I think it's worth waiting a couple days. We'll get back to it, get this uh, transmission fluid flushed out, ready to go, then go for a little test drive. Finally, the goods came in. We had to wait a few days, but we got the 7590 Motul, the Gear 300. We're gonna finish off the STI transmission flush. And also, I got another little surprise for the Miata. Now, I believe this calls for about 4.3 quarts. I bought five of them, so I'm gonna fill up four. Uh, and the last one coming up, I'll get pretty meticulous. And luckily, uh, I have this thing jacked up uh, both in the rear and the front, obviously. So it's a nice flat surface uh, to keep checking because the dipstick on it, it's just like the uh, engine oil. So just a little dipstick, making sure it's on the full line and we'll get it going. Pretty hard to see this, but pretty damn close to right on the full line. Okay, now that she's back on the ground, check the level again and all looks good. Now it's time for a little test drive, shift through the gears, see if she feels better. Because like I said before, if you checked out the last video on the STI, transmission didn't feel all too great. It felt uh, just not as smooth as I'd like it. It felt a little bit sticky in comparison to this, which obviously fresh STI swap, maybe only like, I don't even know, 6,000 miles on it, fresh fluids definitely can tell the difference between this guy so we'll see how she feels now um so far feels all right i'm um, definitely gonna pull this thing out uh, make sure it levels all good and everything like that and uh, go for a little cruise for probably you know one of the last uh, tunes hopefully uh, for the sti to make it run optimal we are doing a data log i guess the last one that i sent it was too short he wants a more in-depth uh data log so that's exactly what we're doing he wants like 15 uh 15 minutes in town uh, yeah, like 15 minutes of in-town driving, uh, and then on top of that, some poles as well. So we're gonna drive around, uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone. We're hitting the vlog, we're hitting the data log, and we're hitting, I could have sworn I had another one, but I lost it. Anyway, see you on a second. SDI yeah, still sounds, uh, it still sounds amazing. Um, shifting wise, I, it might be placebo, but I mean, I'm convinced. I have no idea when the last time the transmission fluid was, was flushed. I, I don't know, right? I mean, it looked awful when I, uh, when I drained it. I mean, you know, super dark and whatever. So I'm going to assume it's probably been a while. Um, no one tends to do it for some reason, even though it's like super easy to do. Two drain plugs, fill it in on the top. You guys saw. Um, but man, it just makes a world of a difference. Uh, everyone raves about the Motul Gear 300. That's what I have in the WX and the STI transmission in that. Um, no problem so far. Feels great. 
Uh, the best deal that I found was actually on Amazon. It's like 70 bucks compared to if you buy it in a store. They tried to charge me like 130 at the store uh, for five, I think they come in liters. But uh, yeah, you can get a five pack. Uh, it was 74 bucks on Amazon. So I'll, I'll like link it down below if you wanna, you know, change your transmission fluid. It's super easy, well worth it. Good, main, good maintenance item. Now just gonna get a couple poles in for the tuner. Only for the tuner. <laughs> nah, that wasn't even really that gnarly. Just want uh, you know a few clean poles, get things cleaned up, and probably just gonna get a couple more in. We are back from the little cruise with the STI. STI did freaking amazing, but I told y'all I got a little sneak peek, a uh, little treat for those of y'all who stayed to the end of the video. A new part for the Miata came in. Finally, we got some new wheels. This was definitely a must. No, this is not sponsored. I just really like these wheels. Uh, they're pretty cheap and the exact specs that I needed. It's a 15 by eight with a 25 offset. So wheels looking sick. Um, I already had to make like a quick little TikTok, like ASMR thing. Follow me on TikTok if you already don't. Um, videos a banger anyway. So yeah, here are the wheels. I think it looks freaking amazing. We already got the tires ready to go. Huge shout out to Kuma. We all appreciate you. Unfortunately, the wheels are not gonna get put on until the suspension comes in. It's been about six weeks waiting on suspension. That's kind of why the Miata has been out of standstill. But now that we got the wheels, we got the tires, one less thing off the list. Literally the day the suspension comes in, we're installing it and getting these on the car. I think it's gonna look freaking amazing. I'll pop up a quick clip of, you know, a little, of me kind of holding it up to the Miata, uh, just so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. I think it's gonna look freaking amazing. Those I wanna say are like 16 by seven. These are a 15 by eight and the offset is honestly what does it for me. Freaking meaty offset. It's a 25 offset. I think it looks freaking amazing. It almost looks like the wheels all one color from some, from some angles, but it's actually like a machine lip and then almost like a really light gray. So I love these wheels. I would honestly run these on the Subaru if I could, but anyway, there they are. We're gonna cross our fingers. That suspension comes in really, really soon. I'm dying to freaking lower the Miata. It looks ridiculous uh, how lifted it is and I'm not throwing on these wheels until the suspension is on. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace out. This whole time my mic was like this. It looked like that. No one's gonna tell me. All right, it's fine. I don't care.